What's going on, YouTube? It's Snowy Winter here, bringing you episode 94 of the Skyrim Adventures, also day 94 of the 100 Days of Skyrim. In the last episode, you guys, I know that I messed up in the intro, and it was blah, 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 and I was yawning a bunch, and there were some salty yarls, and it was a crazy episode in that regard. But in the very last few minutes, oh my goodness. Okay, for some reason, I have my TV on with the um, Elgato that has that on, and I could just hear myself echoing, and I'm really hoping that it didn't pick up on, because um, I've done 92, 93, 94. I generally record for an hour, like hour sessions, um, but in the last episode, anyways, in the very last little bit, a fucking dragon. We saw this guy. Sorry, bud. He looked dead for a moment. I mean, I suppose that's a decent, like, staying alive tactic. You know, you make it yourself look dead when you're sleeping, and no one will fuck with you. Like, oh no, this guy's dead already. I wouldn't mess with him. Where's that dragon? God, I really hope that's not that old dude. Oh, and I have to go straight towards it. Huh. Well, y'all ready for the greatest 1v1 of the century? When's our last save here? When is our last save? Riften? We're gonna save over that. Alright. Why would I shoot it now? We are going to get down in a bit more of a better position. Is there another dragon? Oh god. Well, another one. There's gotta be. Y'all ready for the greatest 2v1 of the century? Alright. Maybe I can sneak towards this. Without him seeing me. If I can fight just this guy, I'll be fine. Unless it's an elder dragon. If this is that elder dragon from like four episodes ago, I'm literally the most boned thing since the The blood dragon. I do feel a little bit better about myself. Oh, please let me hit that. This is gonna be a rough fight, guys. A really rough fight at that. I need to hit more shots. I need to hit more shots. Alright, I need to stay in this. Okay, okay. Heal, 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 heal. Restoration, restoration. Healing. Boom. Go, 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 Save as many potions as you can. Alright, we're good, we're good, we're good. You can stand in two more now. Elven arrows do 16. Let's switch out. We gotta do as much damage to this thing as can as we can, otherwise we are so bound. Gotta hit every shot. Are you kidding me? I missed those two? What? Those were right on him. Hey, don't do those air strikes. Just land them. Try to swing it. Some. Or stay out there. Oh god. That was like a straight up shot. Play arrow roulette. Alright. You dick! What did I say? Land strikes. Land strikes, you cunt. Okay, that had to have hit. Ah. Keep doing those. Those are easier to dodge. That was a way far. Oh, no. Oh, I thought the other one was coming. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he is. What was that shot? Are you seriously running, dude? No, you get back here. No. No, no, no. You, sir, return to this fight. That might be an issue. Bit of an issue. Good, sir, you return to this fight. This is not the greatest 1v1 in the history of the world. It's the worst because you ran away. You freaking pussy, dude. Uh, that's what I don't like about the dragon fights, dude. 
Oh, I found him. He's not. Okay. He didn't run away. Okay. You just call him out on it and he comes back. Come on. Fish. Let's finish this. Your mother should have swallowed you. What? Just random insults to the dragon as you're fighting. Mm -hmm. If you run away, dude. Oh my goodness. Did you? I'm. What? Did you crash land? <laughs> he did not just crash land. <laughs> oh my goodness! There's no way that he just crash landed. He must have. He absolutely must have. That's okay. So, what I'm thinking, right? I didn't know that they could do this, but they it probably didn't even mean to. But, okay, so right, it started to crash land here, because it was coming in, it didn't see this hill, it was like, oh, this is pretty even, didn't see the hill, right, hit the tree, boom, started sliding, that's why this is lighter grass than this. Now, if, you, probably you guys are like, oh my gosh, no, as you know, obviously, Skyrim Fishing, but this is the first time it's ever happened to me, okay, I'm freaking out. But, right, so that's crash landed grass on, right, but that's why this is all lighter colored so he must have i don't know what he was doing over here just trying to get away as quick as he could crash landed slid somehow up the hill must have been going rather quick must have went in and down into this that's that's my prediction can i take both of those i can boom yeah mother trucker all right well that was an intense seven minutes that was quite the crash landing. Where do I need to go? Where are we going from here? Oh, well, oh, hey, oh, now. All right, we'll switch out steel arrows now, and I'll stop singing now. See, I, I love doing that fake singing stuff. It's just fun. You just you, you just gotta lift the nose and the lips up a bit. And where are we going? From here, goodness, I need to get this pencil out of my hand. Oh, good sir. I thought you were a dragon at first. Oh, you cunt. You're a cunt. You're a cunt. Get out of here. Get out of here. Woo! Potion. You thought you stood a chance? Please tell me you were joking. What the hell? Can I hit? They're so... Ah! What is happening? Delphine, I'm sorry! Oh no, that's Esbert. Oh. Oh, I thought that was a, not a friendly Ymir. But that's a friendly Ymir. Oh. I've been playing a lot of Smite. Oh my goodness. Teamwork. All right. Hearth Spider. Ah, oh God! I was looking at what the name of this place was, and you just had to do that. Can I get another? Give me up here. Hi. Well, that was intense, and by intense, I mean that was like probably the most intense one v one of all time. All right. Oh my goodness, that was. That's crazy. This has been the most intense episode I think of the entire series so far. With. The almost, the possibility, the 1v2 dragon fight to the, um. Who's there? Do you hear something? This one's Um, to the, almost the 1v2 dragon fight to the, um. Ow! 
Alright, but that's <laughs> right. Um, the one v two dragon fight, the almost one v two dragon fight, the crash landing, the, the all these force one, the uh, the Ymir. This has been crazy, and we're, um, we're only ten minutes into this episode. Like, holy crap! We're gonna. It must be really intense up ahead. I mean, it might not be too. It could really quiet down, but the first. It's still been the most intense episode so far. It'll probably dull down to some stupid storyline. I mean, definitely early Akaviri stonework here. What? We've got to get this bridge down. Are you talking about? If it's a puzzle, I'm gonna kill someone. <laughs> Says Akavir. It's a symbol for king and warrior. Okay. Of course, the symbol for dragon. That's the one that appears to have a sort of arrow shape pointing downward at the bottom. And the one that's fucking weirdly glowing. What did he say now? Yes, that's it. The symbol on the middle pillar. Okay. What am I supposed to do? He said king. Given that Sky Dragonborn. Temple was sealed against the return of the Dragonborn, I will try turning all the pillars to that symbol. Like that? Whatever you did, it worked. Let's see what those old days Probably nothing. Just a lol, ear bone, have a fun time. Because <laughs> that's it. Oh god, don't do this to me. Anyone wanna go up for YOLO in it? I would assume maybe only stuff on Dragon Stone, Dragon Dragonborn tiles. Hi. Do you what kind of sword do you have? Do you need something? It's starting to look like Esbern was right. Okay, I need you to look away for a second and let me pickpocket you, just for a little bit. Do you have your sword that I can take? No. What kind of sword do you have, Miss? Leroy! Ah! <laughs> I was about to say, oh, this is pretty worthless. I would assume that I have to click. Okay. Why are you stopping? Yeah! Ow! That's why. Esbern's right. Look like pressure plates. Yeah! Oh god. I can't get back out anymore without. There's no Dragonborn tiles. Once it's safe. That's a Dragonborn tile out there. So if I maybe get a running start at this. Okay, we're good. Ah! Ah, ow. Okay, so we're gonna pull out our magic real quick and heal because we're getting boned. Really, Esbon? Be careful. You wanna tell that to me now? No, you're crossing the safe. Is that supposed to make me feel better? Ah, oh, you dick. Alright, where's the supple ancient Nord bow? Let's put that away. Yeah, I suppose I gotta activate that. Is that all it did was... What the hell? Oh, no, don't make me fall. Don't do this. Okay. That's what you get when you don't pay attention. Still been crazy intense with the pressure plates and crap. Now, I don't know about y'all, but this looks like a trap to me. I don't know. Seems legit. <laughs> Seems legit. Elven sword of lightning. Ooh. So, is this when someone tries to come out and fight me? Or not? Um... So do we have to go into the face of Snoke here, or what? Because that looks exactly like Snoke from Star Wars 7. Is that what we ought to do here, Esper? Oh, wise Esper. Here's Tell us. Blood Seal. Another look at the arts. No doubt triggered by, well, blood. We really? We never Your got that. blood, Dragonborn. Oh, God. Look here. You see how the ancient blades revered Reven Cyrodiil? Who the hell is that? Like, legitimately. Is 
whole place appears to be a shrine. Oh, that's actually really kind of cool. Yeah. I didn't even have an iron bag, and I just kind of pulled it out of thin air. Just, oop, there it is. We do have to go inside. So. Oh, this is fun. Open oh, Skyhaven Temple. All right. Enter Skyhaven Temple, more like Enter Dark Blade of Snoke. I don't even remember his name. I just remember that it was Snoke. That's all you really need to know, too. Oh, this is a tarp. No? Maybe? Hmm. Oh, no, this is in a trap. Okay. I thought we had more places to go. No, I can. No, I can. Hey, isn't this in the trailer for like that shooting flyer down? There's me, except I don't have a sword or a shield or that kind of armor, or I don't have locks like that. But still, and that's that. That must be all doing. So me and him are just having the greatest one v one fight of the century. And there's a skeleton. There's this skeleton army fighting him, fighting all doing. That's that's. That's the main gist of what I've gotten here. Um, uh, this looks like uh, Moses, maybe. Moses up on the hill, uh, getting the Ten Commandments. I don't know. That that's my take on that. Um, are y'all here yet? They're coming. All right. We'll keep depicting these ancient ruins. Um, we have the first picture of the dab right here. This is the dab. Um, there's a dragon, some, some crumpled building, looks like that guy fell off his horse there, um, yeah, some, some boots, uh, this guy just foostrode down all over this, whatever this is, oh, hi guys, you're finally here, I was just casually, um, telling our viewers here, uh, what, what everything is. See, here's the first ever dab, Esbern. That's what I got from it. What do you, what do you get from it, Esbern? Tell Look, us with your... here is Alduin. This uh -huh. man goes back to the beginning of time, when Alduin and the dragon cult ruled over Skyrim. So that's not the dab, but... Here, the humans rebel against their dragon overlord. The so that's dragon. not the guy... Alduin defeat is the centerpiece of the world. You see, okay. he here is Moses? falling from the sky. The Nord Tongs, masters of the voice, are arrayed against him. So hey, that's not so Moses. So does it show how they defeated Just... him? Isn't that why here? Ah, patient, my dear. The Akaviri were not a straightforward people. Everything is noticed that. allegory and mythic symbolism. I've noticed that. Yes, yes. So is Moses this one of the Akaviri? Here, coming or... from the mouths of the Nord heroes, this is the Akaviri symbol for shout. But there's no way to know what shout is meant. Ah. <sighs> You mean they used a shout to defeat Alduin? You're yeah, sure. it's probably the Ten Commandments shout. Oh you yes, presumably something rather specific to Magnus, or even Alduin himself. Remember, this is where they recorded uh, all the news of Alduin and his turn. So we're looking for a shout then. Damn it! Wow. Have you ever heard of such a thing? A shout that can knock a dragon out of the sky? I can hop on its back and stab it in the back of the head. The You're probably I right. Know. I was hoping to avoid having to involve them in this, but it seems we have no choice. Yeah, well, uh, what do you have against the Greybeards? If they had though? their way, you do nothing but sit up on their mountain with them and talk to the sky or whatever it is they do. Oh. The Greybeards are so afraid of power that they won't use it. Think about well, it. I mean... Have they tried to stop the Civil War or done anything about they're Alduin? They're trying to say peace? No. Well, I don't and see the issue. And they're afraid of you. Of your power. Well, trust me. I there is no need to be afraid. Think of Tiber I mean, Septim. Do you think he'd have founded the Empire if he'd listened to the Greybeards? But, like, I'm not saying that I'm afraid of me like I did. But, uh, power is dangerous. Don't worry, I'm not afraid of Good. I'm not. The Greybeards can teach you a lot, but don't let them turn you away from your destiny. You're well, Dragonborn. And you're the only Dragon one Lord. who can stop Alduin. All right, so we're gonna have Don't to it. end this intense. Uh, I'd better go see what Iron Iron is right. about the show. Good thing they've um, already let you into their little cult. Not ooh. likely they'd help Esbern or me if we came calling. 
Okay. We'll look around Skyhaven Temple and see what else the old blades might have left for okay. us. It's so a better I'm really disappointed that my encryptions for. weren't right about this. Talos guard you. Okay. Look. So, the third panel. what does he have to say about the it? Maybe I was right. Which brought the Alkaviri to Tamriel in the first place, in search of the Dragonborn. Here are the Akaviri, the blades. You see their distinctive long swords. Now okay. they kneel, their ancient mission fulfilled, as the last dragonborn contends with Aldrin at the end of time. Okay. Are you paying attention, Daddy? Um, I'm going to end today's episode off here. I know it was rather intense. Um, so I hope you guys did enjoy it. Uh, it was a little really different to what we're used to, so I hope you guys did enjoy it. Um, uh, smack a like on it if you did, and, uh... I will see you guys back tomorrow for episode 95, also day 95 of the 100 Days of Skyrim, Skyrim Avengers, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, we only have five more left, so I hope you guys are enjoying these um, as much as I am making them. But 